To reiterate, the Department of Health interposes no objection for the passage of this bill. However, the Department recommends that a feasibility study on healthcare needs, health resource analysis, benchmarking based on DOH standards, investment planning, stakeholder mobilization, and planning for the monitoring and evaluation shall also be conducted. The Department of Health likewise recommends to include a provision on the hospital development plan stated as in Section 30 Hospital Development Plan, the province shall develop a hospital, de hospital development plan to reflect the development goals of the hospital, including its bed capacity and service capability. Requesting also for the staffing requirements, capital outlay investments, and budgetary needs for the operations shall be based on the hospital development plan. Respectfully submitted, Francisco T. Secretary of Health. Thank you, uh, Asek uh, Laksamana. Since uh, we are establishing an LGU uh, hospital, we have to comply with the requirements of the yes. DOH and we have to recognize the jurisdiction of the provincial government of uh, Camarines Sur. Uh, the committee will await a provincial resolution approving the establishment of such and ensuring the availability of funds for the operations of the hospital, including its maintenance and other operating expenses and personnel. So subject to the requirements to be submitted to this committee and to the uh, DOH, uh, House Bill uh, 2444 is uh, hereby uh, approved. Let us now uh, pro proceed to the upgrading of the Maria Eliazar District Hospital. May we hear from the chairperson of the Committee on Health in the House of Representatives, Congresswoman uh, Helen Tan, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Of course, I would like to thank our uh, chair, Senator Bongo, for uh, including House Bill Number 57871 in today's agenda. Just want to cite uh, three essential features of this bill. Number one is that it seeks to upgrade the existing Maria Eliazar District Hospital in Tagkawayan, Quezon, into Level 3 General Hospital. Number two. After its conversion into what will be known as Maria L. Eliazar General Hospital, the same will be placed under the direct supervision and control of the Department of Health. And lastly, it calls for the Secretary of Health to include in the DOH program the implementation of this act, the funding of which will be included in the General Appropriation Act. Allow me to explain briefly the merits of the bill. Unang una po, ang Maria Eliazar District Hospital is one of the priorities or priority hospitals that is under uh, the priority list of the Department of Health Region 4A to be renationalized. As a matter of fact, a certificate of need was already issued and it shows that the district hospital complies with the requirements of upgrading its bed capacity and service capability. Currently, as a level one hospital, it has only 25 bed beds amidst the growing population of 51,832 people based on 2015 census, not to mention the fact that it also caters the neighboring uh, cities or municipalities of Quezon, like Guinangan Quezon and Camarina Sur, uh, specifically Del Gallego, Lupi, Ragay, and Camarines Norte, Santa Elena, and Daet. The district hospital is 139 kilometers away from Quezon Medical Center in Lucena City, that is three hours away, 212 kilometers from Batangas Medical Center, the regional hospital, that is four and a half um, hours away, and 272 kilometers away from the National Capital Region, where specialty hospitals in the country is located, that is seven to eight hours away. That is why increasing its bed capacity to at least 100 and upgrading it to a level three general hospital under the direct supervision and control of the DOH will be of great help to the people of these localities. Various resolutions supporting this move were already passed by the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, Sangguniang Bayan, as well as different Sangguniang Barangays. Based on the assessment made by the Center for Health Development of Region 4, 
the Maria Eliazar District Hospital is an urgent need for critical technical assistance from the DOH as well as the regional office, including logistical and operational support. It also reveals that systems are no longer configured to the present hospital operation needs since it was built almost 40 years ago. Kailangan rin po ng karagdagang mga doctors, nurses, and other hospital personnel, including adequate budget, logistics, and equipment. In the interest of time, let me stress that time's call for the upgrading of Maria Eliazar District Hospital into Level 3 General Hospital, especially in the era of universal health care. But to do this, responsibility cannot, can no longer be relegated to the local government, which is not in a very good position to address the needs of the hospital. So I submit that this is the most opportune time to upgrade the district hospital into level three hospital in order to conform with the current policy of providing quality and efficient healthcare services in light of the mandate provided under the UHC law. Hence, I'd like to seek your support, Mr. Chair, for the expeditious approval of this uh, bill, House Bill 5871. I'd like to uh, also mention that we've invited the Honorable Mayor of uh, Tagkawayan Quezon, Mayor Eliazar, and the Vice Mayor, Vice Mayor Dani Liwanag, and the uh, Medical Center Chief, Dr. Uh, Reynaldo Florido. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Congresswoman uh, Tan. Can we hear the recommendations of the Department of Health? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Cong Congressman Helen Tan, for your very comprehensive manifestation. It's almost complete. <laughs> okay, the position of the Department of Health on House Bill Number 5871, an act upgra upgrading the Maria L. Eliasar District Hospital in the municipality of Tagawayan, province of Quezon, into a level three general hospital to be known as the Maria L. Eliasar General Hospital under the direct supervision and control of the Department of Health and appropriating funds thereof. The Department of Health supports this House Bill Number 5871, seeking to upgrade Maria L. Eliasar District Hospital into a Level 3 General Hospital under the supervision and control of the Department of Health. In 2017, Maria L. Eliasar District Hospital has 25 authorized bed capacity. In the same year, its bed occupancy rate is at 100.79%, which is above the national standard of 85%. Outpatient visits also average at 71 patients per day or a total of 18,432 patients in the same period. Based on the above mentioned facts, the Department of Health interposes no objection for the passage of this bill, provided that the following criteria are met. The concerned L LGU shall provide its expression of intent, transferring its authority to the national government over the particular health facility, including its assets such as human resource, buildings, ground, records, and equipments. This shall be addressed to the Secretary of Health and shall be coursed through the respective Department of Health Center for Health Facility Development or its regional health office. I think it was mentioned already that it was already provided by uh, the certificate of need has been with the Center for Health Development in Calabar Zone. There must also be a Sangonian resolution that justifies the details of transfer of authority with supporting resolutions from the local health board and the local development council. I think this is already present also with us. The information and the condition of health facilities, situational analysis of the catchment area, financial reports, pertinent records on the lack of resources, and documents showing the intervention strategies and other activities that the LGU has conducted shall be provided. I think some have been provided, but we are still waiting for the rest of the uh, items. The recommendations presented above shall complement the implementation of the Universal Health Care Act aligned in the Philippine Health Facility Development Plan, which shall guide government investments in health facilities. Further, the DOH also recommends that the implementation duration of the hospital's proposed upgrade, including its service capability and capacity, shall be consistent with its own development plan. There must also be a consideration of the availability of facilities, human resources for health, 
and the catchment population and disease burden. I think this was also, also mentioned by Congressman Helen Tan. Respectfully submitted, Francisco T. Duque, the third Secretary of Health. Thank you, Paul. Uh, thank you, uh, Asek Laksamana. Um, we have uh, received just now the copies of the local government resolution supporting the transfer of the Maria El Eliasar yeah. District Hospital to the DOH. With that, uh, subject to amendments, uh, House Bill uh, 5871 is hereby uh, approved. And uh, let us uh, now proceed to the establishment of the uh, Senate uh, President Neptali A. Gonzalez General Hospital in uh, Mandaluyong City. We recognize uh, Congressman uh, Neptali Gonzalez Jr. to sponsor the a measure, uh, sir, Congressman Gonzalez. Uh, Maraming salamat po, uh, Chairman. Uh, Chairman uh, Christopher Bongo, and uh, of course, ang aking mga kasama sa Kongreso, ang chairperson po namin, uh, si Helen. Um, nadito rin po si Dr. Roland Cortez ng uh, NCMH Director. Uh, unang sa lahat, uh, Mr. Chairman, ay hayaan yung ipaabot ko sa inyo ang isang taos pusong pasasalamat sa bilis ng pag-schedule po ng mga bill po namin na kasalukuyang tinatalakay na inyong committee. Sa katotohanan, no, kasama ho ng aking bill, House Bill No. 5870, ay naaprobahan lang ho ito on third reading last January 27. At uh, makalipas po ng uh, uh, the following day uh, ay nai-refer po sa Senate and uh, makalipas po ng dalawang linggo at isang araw ngayon ay tinatalakay na po sa inyong committee ang nasabi hong mga panukalang batas. At uh, ito po ay nagpapatunay po na sa inyo pong mabilis sa pag-aksyon dito ay tunay na pinahihiwatig nyo ang inyong tunay na malasakit para ho sa kulusugan ng ating mga mamamayan at uh, saludo po kami sa bilis ng inyong aksyon na ginagawa para ho sa kalusugan ng ating mga mamamayan. Um, hayaan niyo ho, uh, ibahagi ko lang ho sa inyo ang story kung bakit ho nagkaroon kami ng panukalang batas na ganito. Uh, bago ho nagtapos ang uh, aking may bahay, si Queenie na Gonzales, na kasalukuyan ho narito ho sa ating uh, kasama ho natin sa bulwagang ito na bilang kinatawan na aming lunsod, ay nagkausap po sila ni Director, nagkausap po kami ni Director Cortez at na, uh, and in fairness naman no, si Director Cortez naman po ng NCMH ang nag, uh, nagpahiwatig sa amin ng kagandahan na magtayo na isang ospital doon ho sa, uh, sa NCMH. Ang sabi niya ay uh, ma malaki ang uh, ang nakaalat na, na, na kama para sa, uh, sa National Center for Mental Health at bahagi rito ay 300 bed capacity ay maaring maigawing ma isang general hospital. Uh, hindi po ako ang, mag, ang, ang nais ko po sana ay ang una hong panukalang batas ko ay pagtatayo ng, uh, ng hospital na ito na tatawaging mandaluyong uh, City General Hospital na oyo operate po ng National Center for Mental Health. Uh, ninais po namin na uh, wag gamitin yung NCMH dahil ang ang amin hong uh, experience doon ho sa sa mental ay bagamat they they have meron ho silang kapasidad to para ho sa mga laboratory examination at meron naman ho mga tao kami na mga mamamayan naman dalo yun, nangangailangan ng mga laborot, laboratory examination. At nire-refer naman ho namin sila sa mental. Meron naman ho tayo mga konting gen uh, guarantee letter. But ang amin ho experience, dahil pag pumapasok ho sila sa mental, para ho makapag-laboratory uh, examination sila, kailangan pumasok sila sa compound ng mental. Ayaw ko nilang gamitin yung kadalang guarantee letter dahil ang tingin nila, baka mapagkabalan sila kaya sila pumapasok ay dahil mga tagalob ho sila. No? Dahil yun ho ang naging uh, masamang konsepto. Eh, hindi naman. No? Kami naman no, ay nakakabango na ho doon sa dating pagkakilala sa amin tagalob. Uh, dati ho, pag mandalo yung sinasabi hong 
tagalaob ka ba, tagalabas? Ngayon ho, kinikilala ho, pag uh, nalaman taga-Bandalo yung uh, nababanggit ko, yung sasabihin eh, guwapo ang Congress when you're uh. Anyway, <laughs> kaya ho, ang House Bill 5874, an act establishing a 300 bed capacity training and general hospital in Barangay Mauway. Uh, kaya ho, naging Senate President Neptali A. Gonzalez to, dahil ho, dun sa meeting ho namin sa committee na Uh, pinang, uh, uh, kasalukuyang hong, uh, si Mike Defensor po ng anak kalusugan ang siya nagpipreside dahil ang uh, chairperson po namin si Helen Tanon ay meron din siyang local bill na tinatalakay it was he who na, na nagsabi na not for the love of the son ako raw ho yan, hindi niya naman ako mahal pero mahal niya aking tatay kaya in honor ng aking uh, ama ay pinropose niya na ang maging pangalan nito ay Senate Nep, uh, President Neptali A. Gonzalez uh, General Hospital at kung ako raw ho ay, ay mag-object ay hindi ho nila ya-approve yung, yung bill. Uh, Siyempre ho, para ho naman sa akin, wala naman, malaking karangalan din naman ho na uh, ipangalan nito sa aking ama dahil hindi ko naman ho ikahihiya ng ako, nagawa ng aking ama sa larangan ng health sa kaho ng uh, edukasyon sa Mandaluyong. Pero ho, kung sa inyong uh, pananaw ay hindi ho dapat ito, ay bali wala ho sa akin na pali, hindi, ibalik muli ang pangalan doon sa, sa Mandaluyong City General Hospital dahil hindi ho mahalaga sa akin ang pangalan. Ang mahalaga ho sa akin yung serbisyo na mabibigay sa larangan ng kalusugan ng ating mga mamamayan. So, uh, uh, kailangan-kailangan ho namin ang ospital na ito because uh, currently po, ang, ang, ang ospital lang naman po sa Mandaluyong ay isang level 2 uh, city hospital na pag-aari at ino-operate ng aming syudad. 150 lang po ang bed capacity nito at uh, sa isang buwan ay halos may kulang-kulang sa labindalawang libo ang naaten niyang mga outpatient at siguro ho ay may mga liman libong, hindi bababa sa liman libong mga emergency cases na kanyang uh, na kailangan i-attend sa loob ng isang buwan. At uh, ang location po ng National Center for Mental Health ay uh, ay uh, Uh, in, in such a manner na located po na pwede yung makinabang doon ang mga taga San Juan din, mga taga Pasig at mga taga Makati. Ang naging usapan lang ho namin ni Le Director Cortes noon na ako sa pagpapatayo ng ospital ay it will be uh, it will be located along the 9 de Febrero Road para ang access po ay hindi na ho kailangan pumasok sa loob ng mental hospital. Ang pagpasok lang ho ito at paglabas ay nadol lang ho sa labas ng 9 de Febrero. And I'm, I'm glad to inform all of you na under the budget of the 2020, meron na hong, meron na hong uh, uh, several millions of pesos para umpisahan no ang nasabing hospital. Kaya ho, uh, malaking bagay ho sa amin na maitutulong ito kung uh, ito hong aming panukadang batas na ito ay maa-approban ho para ho sa kalusugan ho ng aming mga mamamayan. Maraming salamat po magandang hapon po. Thank you, uh, Congressman Gonzalez. Si Congressman Gonzalez and si Senate uh, President Gonzalez, kamag-anak ko rin kasi <laughs> go rin yan sila, just like uh, Gotinga. Mula rin po yan sa mga pamilya ng mga go. So, uh, thank you, Congressman. May we hear from the Department of Health uh, your uh, position? Kindly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, our uh, distinguished uh, legislators. Uh, let me read the position paper of the Department of Health. Uh, this is signed until the up to the our USEC level, the Health Facilities Infrastructure Development uh, Team, and we will submit the signed position paper by uh, our Secretary of Health as uh, soon as possible, Mr. Chair. So the city of Mandaluyong has a bed population ratio of 1 is to 1,137, which is way above the recommended bed to population ratio of 1 is to 1,000 bed to population. This excludes the 4,200 bed of the National Center for Mental Health. Kasi when we compute, sir, the bed to population ratio, hindi po sinasama yung specialty beds, eh. So which is the National Specialty Center for Psychiatric and Mental Health Needs. Moreover, there are four licensed hospitals in the area, including the Madaluyong City Medical Center, which is the LGO-owned general hospital with 150 bed capacity. 
The DOH uh, would like to clarify on the specific location of the proposed hospital and the availability of a physical space or a lot as of one requirements of its establishment. Further, the DOH also would want to clarify the other requirements for establishing a new hospital, namely certificate of need obtained from the DOH Center for Health Development to ensure compliance to the set criteria such as bed to population ratio, the travel time, accessibility, integration with the local hospital development plan, and as well as the track record. A feasibility which includes healthcare needs analysis, health resource analysis, benchmarking against the DOH standards, investment planning, stakeholder mobilization, and planning for monitoring and evaluation. Uh, they also need to further study the proposal as we know that the proposed 300-bed uh, level 3 hospital would entail uh, very vast uh, resources which is 1.61 billion for the infrastructure and equipment and as well as the annual operation cost and personal services amounting to 940 million every year. The recommendations presented above shall complement the implementation of the UHC aligned with the Philippine Health Facility Development Plan, which shall guide government investment in health facilities. Respectfully submitted, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, uh, to the National Center for Mental Health and CMF, uh, this hospital uh, will be established within the area of NCMH. What is your position on this? How will this affect your uh, operations? Uh, go ahead, uh, Dr. Roland Cortes. Good afternoon, uh, Honorable Chair. The uh, proposed uh, 300 bed uh, hospitals, Your Honor, will not uh, interfere with the hospital operations of the National Center for Mental Health, considering that uh, we had already allotted a uh, sizable amount of uh, land that would be uh, within the area of uh, uh, Barangay Mauwai, which is uh, within the National Highway, to uh, exactly uh, attract not only the relatives and the 3,500 patients and the 2,500 uh, employees of the institution, but to uh, cater to the different areas uh, within the boundary of Mandaluyong, like uh, the uh, areas in uh, Pasig, Makati, areas in Manila, and San Juan. And uh, the estimated uh, population that we will be targeting outside of uh, the inpatient and outpatient of the institution, Your Honor, will be almost about 1.4 uh, million, meaning to say that uh, this hospital will be uh, of great value, not only to uh, the uh, universal health care implementation, but uh, it will help decongest the nearest, man, the nearest uh, DOH tertiary hospital, which is the Rizal Medical Center. We agree that there is a 150-bed capacity hospital being run by uh, the uh, city of Mandaluyong, but it is so unfortunate to inform this body that the uh, occupancy rate of that institution is way, way, uh, uh, way, way above the uh, authorized bed capacity. And at the same time, Your Honor, because we have established uh, within the National Center for Mental Health a uh, improvised 100 bed capacity for the various uh, uh, illnesses and diseases that are being encountered by our patient within are also receiving uh, referral from this uh, institution. May I uh, inform the, the Honorable Committee that the, the 100 bed that we had established as innovative approach for our own patients has uh, a laboratory uh, uh, facilities of its own. We have uh, radiology facilities to include CT scan. We also have uh, 
through the uh, support of our uh, Honorable uh, Congresswoman Queenie Gonzalez in the past has given us 12 dialysis machine. So in effect, Your Honor, we had already established the uh, uh, coordination and networking not only within the inpatients but within the community. So I think, Your Honor, the establishment of uh, this 300-bed uh, uh, general hospital will not only benefit the uh, inpatients and outpatients and the employees of the institution, but it will also benefit the entire area of uh, Mandaluyong, part of San Juan, Makati, Manila, and, uh, and Pasig, Your Honors. So the question is, it will never interfere with the operations of the existing NCMH, and we have provided actually a place for this uh, uh, proposed 300-bed uh, general hospital, Your Honor. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Roland Cortez. Uh, subject to the requirements to be submitted to this committee and to the D Department of Health, we will uh, take into consideration the matters raised here in drafting the committee report of House Bill 5870. Uh, uh, what's next? No? no more? So, with that, uh, I thank my uh, our counterparts from the House of Representatives for going out their way to push for the measures for their measures here in the Senate. The inputs and comments of the DOH and all resource persons are all noted and will be considered in the drafting of the committee report. Indeed, we need to improve the capacity and capability of our health facilities. At times like this, we are reminded that government should always ensure that our hospitals receive much needed upgrade and modernization. All the local hospital bills we have discussed today will be transmitted to plenary subject to amendments and the requirements to be submitted to the DOH and this committee. Again, thank you. This hearing is hereby adjourned.